Scaling is an operation where you basically change the range of a given column in a data frame. For instance, suppose if, if you have a series and the maximum and the minimum value of the series ranges between say 20 to 20,000. Through scaling, what you can do is you can change the range from either minus 1 to plus 1 or 0 to 1, something like that, something of a standard range. You want to change the original values of your series. That is nothing but scaling. There are different types of scaling. Some of the very common types are written out over here. This Z score scaling is the formula is you change the value so that you subtract from each value the mean, this value from this value. Say I'm going to call it as X. You, from X, you're going to subtract out the mean and divide it by the standard deviation. This is called Z score scaling. The value that you compute from this is also called the Z score. Likewise, there is something called min max scaling. This is a scaling. What it tends to achieve is the minimum value present in this column will have the value 0. Suppose 20 is the minimum value and 2000 is the maximum value. 20 will become 0 and 2000 will become 1. That is min max scaling and the formula to do that is this one. You subtract the value by the minimum and divide it by the maximum minus the minimum. Max absolute scaling is you divide each value in the series by the maximum value. So these three are very common in use. There is also something called robust scaling. This is very useful but not so very common. This is the formula but it is very advantageous when your data has some sort of outliers. What I mean by that is say you have the data as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then suddenly you have a value 30. Right? If you do a regular scaling, suppose if you do a min-max scaling, your 1 will become 0, 30 is going to become 1, then all these other values, right, this will be very close to 0, even the value 7 which is excluding 30, 7 is the highest value, right, this is going to take a value around close to around 0.2 or something, right, all these values will be within this range. As a result, the variation in the values excluding the outliers, the variation in the regular values of your data will be very small. If you use min-max scaling, that is the disadvantage. Not just min-max, any other scaling you use, this will be a disadvantage. Whereas if you use robust scaling, it changes the value such that the lowest value takes a value somewhere around minus 1. I am talking about this particular case, this particular set of numbers. The lowest will become minus 1. Maximum value, that is 30, will become around 8, 8.0 plus, something, something around that range. I am not very sure. But around this range, it will become and 7 will take the value around 0.7 or something, something around this range. So there is there is a healthy variation between the regular values, right? And the outlier is still an outlier. So these are some of the very useful scaling approaches you will that you will encounter. All right. So let's implement Z score scaling first on the Hungary chicken pox data set. So if you look at the maximum and the minimum values of this data, you have the maximum over here, minimum over here. You see, there is a significant variation amongst these values, right? Another important use of doing the scaling is it brings all the different columns to a comparative scale. So here, a value of 80 cases in the district of Budapest may be considered moderate because the median here itself is 93, right? For this district, 80 cases may be moderate, whereas for, say, the Baranya district, 80 cases is more than 75%. So this will be high. In order for you to compare if a given value is high or not across the different columns present in your data frame, you need to scale all the columns by the same method. That is actually a main purpose of doing scaling. Besides that, in certain machine learning and neural network algorithms, you need to do scaling before you actually implement the algorithm logic. So scaling has a wide use in the field of data science. Here we are going to implement Z-score scaling. What I am simply doing is define the function for computing the Z score for any given number and call it using apply. Now, if you look at the values in the data frame as well as the description, you will find that the minimum and the maximum values are around the same scale. So that is about Z score. The challenge for this video is for the given series over here, implement robust scaling and min max scaling. So here's the solution. The definition of robust scaling we know x minus the median divided by the interquartile range this is computed so is min max scaling just call these functions you need to define x first so here you can clearly see after scaling the range of values for regular non outlier values ranges from minus 1 to 0.7 right there's a good variation here whereas in min max scaling the regular values range from 0 to 0 0.2.
not much of a variation as you see in robust scaling.